So you want to quit your job and go follow your dreams as an entrepreneur. But here's the catch that nobody tells you. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. I ain't eating. You ain't eating. What you mean you ain't eating? You ain't making this paper, man? Everybody eat. I gotta eat, man. You are listening to the Everybody Eats Podcast. Now for your host, Mr. AJ Senegay. Thank you for waking up with me this morning. Beautiful Monday morning. I am AJ Simmons, your host of the Everybody Eats Podcast. I want to talk to you this morning about quitting your job to go be an entrepreneur, to go follow your dreams, to go do what you love, right? It's all fun and dandy. It sounds good. That's what everybody's pushing these days, right? And I'm with it. I commend you for it. If you do it, if you're capable of doing it, if you quit the job for whatever reason, you do what you want to do, I'm for it. But here's the thing, though. Here's the catch. That day when you walk out and that next morning when you wake up, what do you want to do? Like, what do you do? That whole week, what do you do? See, this is, it's kind of scary, but what makes it scary the most, because a lot of people when they first walk out, they're like, oh shit, I actually did it now, what? Well, what makes it scary is you don't know what to do. There's no blueprint for this stuff, right? You got to make it up. Like once you leave the job, you go from somebody telling you what to do, giving you a schedule, telling you what time you got to be there, all of that, to just blank, blank canvas. And it's completely up to you. So your job was uh, a business and that business had a system in place. And you as an employee were a component of the system. All you had to do was do your part in the system. Well now, when you leave and go create your own, you have to create a whole new entire system. And even if it's not like a business, I'm talking about just a life system for you. What time are you gonna wake up? What are you gonna do as soon as you wake up? When are you gonna eat? You know what I mean? Like little stuff, but you gotta consider it. You got and so if you don't have this stuff figured out, what it tend to happen is if you're not completely like locked in, you probably gonna sleep in for the first time, like, yeah, I ain't got no job, I can sleep in, I ain't got no boss, I wake up when I want to. Alright, cool. So you sleep in, you ain't up until about nine o'clock. Then you turn around and say, all right, well, I'm going to work on this today. And you knock out about four or five hours on that part that you want to work on. But you taking your time with it. You, you chilling. I mean, you might eat some. You lounge around in your pajamas thinking that that's how it was done. Now it's five o'clock and you ain't getting nothing done. And so, yeah, it's day one, so you're still good. But if you do that same routine about two or three days straight, you're going to start to get scared because you're going to say, oh, shit. Three days just passed. I ain't made a penny yet. What am I going to do? Then you got the flip side. Where you got the person that quit already and they knew what they was about to do. And so they doing this thing. Maybe you quit because you was going to go clean houses every day. And so now you clean the houses all day every day. And then as each day goes by. And the more and more that you do it in the beginning. It's like yeah cool I'm my own boss. I can do what I want to do. But as time goes on you start to realize damn I'm working harder. Than what I was working at the job. This ain't right. You know what I mean? So what happens is, what you got to do is, you got to have a plan, okay? You need to figure out, what time am I going to wake up every day? What are the hours that I'm going to work? When am I going to eat? What, like, when will be my me time? When can I meditate, pray, whatever you'd like to do? But how, what will you do to get in tune with the day? You know what I mean? Like, you got to really sit down and think about the stuff and write it down. Put it in your phone calendar. Do something. But if you don't, Plan out your day, just even your day first. Plan out your week, plan out your month, put your goals for the month and all of that. But once you go do all of that, work your way back up from what I'm going to do this month to what I'm going to do this week to what I'm going to do for the day, each day. And you usually want to plan for the next day, the night before, okay? Because if you don't do that, you're not going to manage your time wisely. And when you out here in this world, time is all you have. That, like, that's the most valuable resource that you have. So you got to manage your time because nobody's going to tell you what to do. Now, when you got goals that need to be done and you don't get them done, guess what happened? Nothing. You just don't get it done. Nobody can fire you. You know what I mean? But what, 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 what tends to happen is what is going to happen is 
You just prolonged your dream, your goal that much longer because you didn't do that thing on your to-do list that you set out to do. And so if you create a habit out of not doing things on your to-do list, then guess what? Now you officially prolonging your journey that much longer because now you have a bad habit of not getting things done. But if you create the habit of knocking out all of your things on your to-do list from the beginning, then you can get to your goal overnight like it's nothing. I wouldn't say overnight, I'm, I'm being metaphorically speaking. Either way, um, my point is that have a plan. Have a plan in place and commit to it. Because if you can't commit to your own to-do list, then how do you expect other people to commit to yourself as you start to grow and you start to hire employees? If you can't take your own schedule serious, then how do you expect to make it? You know what I mean? Like regardless of what industry you're in, you're gonna have to sell. Whether you're selling products or whether you're selling, whether you're selling a service, you're gonna have to sell. And if you continue to go day after day after day without getting sales, then guess what? You're probably gonna be back in line for a job. And that's not what you want. So what you need to do is make your hustle align with your goals. If you really wanna quit, you really wanna be your own boss, if you really wanna be on your own time, you don't want nobody telling you what to do, you don't wanna be held accountable and all of that to nobody but yourself, well fine then. You need to hustle like it. And I'm gonna tell you this too, if you think you're only gonna be held accountable to yourself, you're wrong again, because you're gonna have customers, okay? And you gotta be accountable to them. Now, no matter what you do, you're gonna be held accountable to somebody, and you need to make sure that you're able to hustle hard enough to knock them things out, you know what I mean? To hold it down, to be able to do what you gotta do in order to survive, because it's survival mode when you get out here. And then as you grow, you turn into a business and you won't be in survival no mode no more. But a lot of people will get into that survival mode state and never grow from that point. So what I recommend that you do is lock in, get your plan in place, and go to work.